Let's talk about party schools, Chris. Okay. I am excited about this uh, show. Always brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, South's premier sports gambling destination. They got six awesome sports books. You can find more uh, information at tunicatravel.com. We're going to be down there March 21st, March 22nd. Speaking of partying, by the way, uh, since we're discussing partying schools, we're going to be partying at the Samstown Sportsbook March 21st, March 22nd. That's a Thursday and Friday, the first two days of the NCAA tournament. I could not be more excited about this. Uh, you and I will be broadcasting live at 10 a.m. We're going to do about a 45 minute to an hour pregame show before the NCAA tournament kicks off both days around 11. Um, and then we're going to broadcast again before the afternoon slate. But you and I will be there in the sports book, hanging out, watching basketball, betting on games all day long. We want you guys to come and hang out with us. It's free to get in. Drink specials all day. Food specials all day. And the food's really good. Yeah, it's going to be good. Really good. It's going to be fun. Domestic come beer, us. by the way, only $2. Yeah. And you get like a, a bucket for dirt cheap. I mean, it's yeah. crazy. So, so literally, you can come hang out, drink, watch basketball, gamble on games with us all day long. And Samstown has rooms. We're going to be in rooms. Come hang out. Let's do something. Let's do it. Let's talk about party schools for 2019 via niche.com, N-I-C-H-E.com. Okay. Maybe that's niche. I guess if you're fancy. north of the Mason-Dixon. Fancy. Uh, if, if you're fancy, it's niche. Sure, I'm going to learn if you're, uh, if I'm you gonna didn't learn good. I'm going to bet most of the places that we're going to talk about call it niche. Probably. Probably. All right, where let's, they're from. Here is, and, and I'm going to give you what this is based on. Okay. All right. So this is how it is weighted. So we got parameters. We got rules. 70% of it is student surveys. Okay. 10% is access to bars from campus. Okay. 7.5% is athletics grade. So how successful the athletics teams are. That's that has I, nothing to do with the party of a school, but okay. Uh, I mean it should though because like you you celebrate more after the win, right? All right, uh, 7.5% is Greek life grade. Okay. So that kind of makes sense. Like if, if you got yep. the Phi Kappa Mau Mau's yeah. uh, <laughs> celebrating after a big win or something like that, that's going to mean okay. a lot. And then finally, access to restaurants counts as 5%. So restaurants, not exactly where you want to go party, but I guess okay. it depends on the restaurant. Like I party at Hooters, All right. Twin Peaks. Let's go. Something like that. Like that's, that's my party. I enjoy the eye candy, man. I can't help it. Love women. Love women. You can ask my wife. Right. Uh, <laughs> number one. So what do we got? Number one is Tulane. Okay. Did that New surprise Orleans? you? No. No? Okay. New Orleans, baby. Let's do, let's do five at a time. All right. And then we will take one out if we need to. Okay. Um, number two, Georgia. Okay. That kind of makes sense, right? Number three, West Virginia. That's about all they got to do up there in Morgantown. Let's just keep reading. Four, Wisconsin. Okay. Number five, Howard. Where is Howard? Washington, D.C. Okay. HBCU. All right. All right. Okay, now I'm good. I'm good now. Um, and I mean, that Howard is – that's a good school. Yeah. That's a good school. Smart, smart kids. Uh, any that you think should maybe not be top five? I'm thinking of – Bars, places to party, Greek life, Greek life. Wisconsin is obviously there. Like oh, absolutely. And and Tulane. I, same I think thing. I think Georgia has definitely got to be there. Yeah, I don't know. I've never been to Athens. I have no idea. Athens throws down. Okay, they I've, throw. I've down. never been. I've heard it's uh, beautiful. West Virginia, but, but I haven't heard that it's party town. I've just heard it's West beautiful. Virginia. A lot of bonfires. A lot yeah, of uh, a lot of country West, boys throwing down. I know West Virginia likes to set stuff on fire. Is that a party, or is that just like maybe I just don't, I just don't party like that. Yeah, you just don't party like it's a lot different. Like it's, I like a bonfire, like in a field, but I not mean, there's like, a lot of fields around. There not too. like in the, but that's not where they set shit on fire. <laughs> like I've been to Morgantown <laughs> after a loss when I used to work up in Steubenville, Ohio. Listen, that's not where they set stuff on fire in no, those fields. It's in they the middle do, of the street. They do it in the middle of a street, of like a big, like a busy street that's like a small street where like houses are really close together. Yeah. That makes sense. It's usually a car or a couch or something that you would normally not set on fire. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's do number six through ten. 
Uh, number six, Illinois. Okay. In Champaign. Champaign, all right. Number seven, Indiana. Bloomington, I did not think would be. I would not have thought of either uh, of these two. Alabama, number eight, okay. Tuscaloosa. They're, they're getting a lot of a lot of good at sports pub. Um, well, and see, that's only seven point five percent of it. So, like, ten percent access to bars. Oh well, yeah, there's, there's a ton of there's a ton yeah, of bars. There's around, bars right you know. there. Um, student surveys, like obviously, kids down there love it. And so, uh, and they're not from there. Like, it, I mean, eighty percent of the University of Alabama students are not from Alabama. So. Uh, I, I would imagine they enjoy the Southern hospitality. Florida State, number nine. I just, okay. I, it's They've always been a big party school, and I just don't get it. But that's okay. Number 10, Texas. That doesn't shock me. Austin's. Austin's, Austin's big. Austin's like, unbelievable. Like, two lanes in the best city, but they're a small school. Yeah. Like, now you have monster school in monster party town. Yeah. That makes sense. It, it, it explains why they would sense. be in top ten. Uh, Illinois, Indiana. That shocks me. But those I've never, two, I was surprised. I, it's hard to judge. I've never been to either of those places. I've driven through them. I've driven through I've Champaign. Never stopped there. I have Not been to gas. Bloomington. Nope, never. Um, Bloomington, like I could, I could see it. It it could be amazing. It could be awesome. I have no idea. I mean, if if you're I'll from there, this, we would I love would, for you to. Propose. I would not expect it. Let's say that. Yeah. If I make any list of what my, you know, small little brain can can comprehend, they wouldn't have made my list. Neither would have Howard, but probably eight. Like I would have thought of some school in the D.C. area because yeah. that's a pretty rocking area. Oh yeah, I mean Georgetown yeah. or uh, I would have probably given somebody George doesn't Washington des- doesn't deserve the credit. The the you know maybe not an elite school maybe like American is American elite. Yeah, yeah, American Conference. Okay, not the American Conference. Oh no, there's there's American University. There's yeah. American University. Are yeah, that, are that like a, a smart kid school or just like oh, I, all those kids schools are no, that's smart. that's a that's a smart school. Well, yeah, all of them in DC are smart yeah. kid schools. I need to find a state school in DC. That's going to be your party school. Is there a state school in I DC? Well, I guess not. They're not a state. Yeah, I mean that's I think they're all pretty like aren't the they all private? Yeah, probably. I don't know. Is George Washington private? I would not have gotten into any of them. No. All right. Let's uh, let's do eleven through fifteen. Uh, and number eleven, Iowa. That, shock that me doesn't at shock all. me at they, all. They, yeah, they they they're a perennial powerhouse here. Number twelve, SMU. Okay, Dallas. Dallas. I, yeah, but like Dallas, good bar scene. I mean, it's yeah, but it's SMU. It's like a Christian school. It doesn't matter, it's, man. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm gonna offend some people. It's a Methodist school, brother. That's if you're going to go to a Christian school, you want to go to the Methodist school. Let me you tell go. you that. In my <laughs> in my limited knowledge of of the churches, you want to go to the Methodist school. Uh, number thirteen, Cal. So I know Man, I just, out of I Berkeley, just, I just upset a lot of people. I think you're going to be just fine. Okay. I think they're fine. Uh, number thirteen, Cal. Yeah, Berkeley. So Berkeley. I, okay. I wonder if some of this has more to do with uh, the Gonj. As opposed nah, to the alcohol. It, we live in a world now where anybody can get pot. I bet they don't even have the best pot out there. So You don't think in Berkeley they got good pot? I know, it's probably good. I'm not saying it's trash. I but, bet they got like amazing ganja. I, I, I just enjoy might. saying ganja on the, on the microphone. They might. It's kind of fun. Uh, sure number 14, good. Miami. Miami, Florida. See, I'm going to disagree with that one. Miami is an awesome city. It's a party city. I, and I know that their campus is pretty close to the beach. Man, I just, I, I've seen a lot. Of, I don't know. I could be dead wrong. I'm sure I don't think they can throw guys. down as hard in Miami no. as, as no. well, number I, 15, Penn State. Right. I could see Penn State, Wisconsin. It's just a you know, really, those. it's a big shame that LSU is not on this list. Well, that's what I was going to ask. Like, who belongs on this? The, the two schools that everybody unanimously think of when you think of these guys are coming to town. We got to stock up on the booze. It's LSU and Wisconsin. Yeah. That's that's the that's the list in and there's a there's a separation between them and everybody else. And I'm just I'm just really shocked that they didn't. I'm not saying they've got to be the number one. I'm not saying they got to win it all. I'm not saying any of that. They got to make the top fifteen list. Okay. Yeah, I do agree with that. Now, in saying that, Baton Rouge is a capital city. Okay. It's not a college town, party town city. So, I mean, while you have plenty of bars and plenty of places to go, 
it, it, it just might not be the same the way they're working the criteria. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you know what? The cow thing it was actually... See, okay, this is... Whoever listed this out was dead wrong because I actually just looked at the website. Um, it was Cal Santa Barbara. All right. I'll and then you. Miami was actually Miami, Ohio, not now Miami, that, Florida. Right. You give me a Midwestern town where there ain't nothing else to do. In Miami, Ohio, I could 100% yeah, see on this. That's what I'm saying. Same uh, thing. Same thing. I mean, that's why I was there. I mean, that's it. Here is it. So it, it actually goes through the top 25. Uh, number 16 is Ohio in Athens, Ohio. I could see that. Uh, University of Mississippi, number yep, 17, Ole so Ole Southern Miss. There. South Carolina. Nope, Southern Cal. Oh, I would not have guessed that. I would not have guessed you, that. Yeah, I'm not going to put an L.A. town in this. It's just not happening. Uh, Syracuse at 19. Yeah, I'd have given you that. Kansas at 20. That shocks me. That shocks you? Yeah. That shocks Kansas? Me. I just don't know who's throwing down at Kansas. Am I wrong? I mean, I've never been there. There's a lot of corn in Kansas, right? I've never been there. Look, I didn't think Illinois and Indiana would be there either. But, but it's, I mean, think of it. So, like, Kansas, a lot of corn, a lot of corn whiskey. No, no, they're not making, listen. Nobody moonshining in Kansas. There might be some people moonshining in Kansas, but that's a that's a Tennessee, that's a Kentucky, that's yeah, a West no, Virginia thing. Yeah, you're probably right. You're probably right. Uh, Clark University in Atlanta, I could have. Uh, Hundred percent, see that. Yeah, yeah. So, Some school in Atlanta is going to make this list. That's it. Well, HBCU oh, again. Hell now, like, I'm looking at the next one on there. University of Missouri at Freaking 22. Missouri. Uh, yeah, yeah. I've heard a lot of stories about about Columbia. They throw down it's in Columbia. Disappointing. Uh, number twenty three, LSU. Yeah, all right. Twenty four, Penn University yeah. of Pennsylvania. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, number 25, San Diego State. Well, that no question on that. I, I will tell you this. If I could if I could do life over and I was just going to get balls deep in student loan debt, I would have just gone to San Diego State. Why? Well, just to go out there? San, San Diego is, is, the, is the single best city in the country to me. It is. I mean, it's a beautiful place. It's amazing. It's paradise. I don't know anything about the campus. I never went by the college at all. Didn't know they had – I knew they had one. Didn't seek it out. I'm gonna tell you this. I could live in San Diego, and and oh, you got to go to school. I'll go to school. It took me seven and a half years to get a degree. That's fine. That's okay. Like I'll just keep going into debt so long as I can live in San Diego. That's right. I'm here. I'm here. I mean, if if you get networked up good, I work under the affiliation that we're all day to day. (laughs) Take her down, cash in, blow it off. (laughs) (laughs) I like it. I like it. All right, that's going to wrap up today's show. Uh, Way too many schools above LSU. Yeah, was that, a, that is not the homer in me. That's just the way. No, nah, that's ask, these these people as I mean, visiting towns. Well, see, when their fans seven, come into town, who parties the hardest? Not at home, but who comes to your house and drinks you out of booze? It's Wisconsin and, and it's LSU. LSU. Those are the two that other fans are like. We got to restock. I know we restock last. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Get more. Just give Let's more. say, I mean, these again, these are based on 70% student surveys, 10% access to bars, 7.5% athletics, 7.5%. So the student surveys, like these are places where the students think they party really hard then. If I that's guess 70%. So, yeah. And I'm gonna bet LSU guys are like, this ain't partying. This is like, Tuesday yeah, night. Yeah, like we don't well, really Tuesday night. I'm good. Like, yeah. I, I only got, had a 12 pack. I got a, I got a test tomorrow. Yeah, I polished off a case of Natty Light. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't drink a bottle of vodka tonight. I got. I got test tomorrow, man. So wait, while we're on this, uh, I went somewhere. Uh, I went to some restaurant, like decent, nice kind of restaurant here in Memphis? Olive Branch. Oh, in Olive Branch. In okay. Olive Branch, Mississippi, and the only bottle beer that they had was PBR. And you don't know where this. You just don't want. Say the name. Well, I, I'm, I'm very okay. Curious. So it was the Wolf, you don't have to it, say no, 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 it's Wolf River Brisket Company. Okay, and they've got like draft beer like for they don't days. Have any other bottles? The only bottled beer they have is PBR. That's weird. I thought the same thing. I said that's really the only. And the way I went said, there yeah. once, I really liked the brisket, but I didn't go back. it was really expensive for barbecue. Yeah, I mean it, it depends on what you feel like getting. Uh, the burn ends were great. 
I thought no, it's it's really good. Um, it's really good. It the the uh, seasoned mac and cheese or whatever was fantastic. The bacon jam and pimento cheese sandwich that my uh, wife got was great. I spent seventy dollars uh, at lunch for me and another guy. Whew, yeah, see, you tossed them down some. No, that was that was no, that was we're not going. That was really good. I'm probably not going to go back. Yeah, no, I'm with you. I'm with you. I thought it was great. I thought it was great. Sure, it was good. So for for what we got, price was reasonable. PBR is the only bottle beer. The I'm, only yeah, bottle I'm not, beer. I'm not okay with that. I agree. I was like, you know, you don't have Bud Light. You don't have local brews. Yeah, have, well, I don't care about. It. Yeah, but yeah, you know, whatever. Give, like me, it, give me give me your standard domestic bottles. Yeah, there's no reason to not have Bud Light, Miller Light, Budweiser, Coors. Coors, Coors yeah. Light. Like, there's just no reason to not have those in bottles. And and yet you do have PBR. That's weird, right? Now I could see it down in college towns, right? Like PBR, Natty Light, you know, whatever. Steel Reserve. <laughs> What's the most disgusting beer that you ever got drunk off of? Uh, none. I would not. I would not say because I'm even even when I was. Broken poor, I, well, a the only beers that I would really get drunk off of when I was broken poor, are like Natty Light, Keystone Light, Bush Light, and they're not disgusting. They just taste like water. They just don't have, yeah. They just don't have a flavor. You, you whatever. Um, if something was gross, I'm just that way. I've always been that way. If something's disgusting me. I'm just not gonna drink it anymore. I so, got so nothing will get me drunk if it's disgusting. Nothing. I got hammered off of a thirty pack, of, and I didn't drink all thirty. I probably drank twenty something of them. But uh, you remember the beer called Beer 30 that you could get at, like, Walgreens or something? I was over in West Memphis, Arkansas. I stopped at the Walgreens. They had Beer 30, and it was a 30-pack for, like, $8. And we went out to the river and got hammered. But that was the most disgusting beer. So so I will tell you the happiest, the, the point of my life where I felt like I'm going to be okay. Like, financially... Like I ain't, I ain't I ain't got everything, but I got enough. Is I'm sitting. We used to go to this bar. We used to watch Monday Night Football there. Me and a buddy, and they did buckets beer, whatever. A guy comes in, and I am not. This is not a shot at anybody. I'm just not a Miller Lite fan. I just I just don't like it. I Bud Light, Coors Light, I'll drink. I think they taste virtually the same. Miller Lite tastes drastically different. I don't like it. And so we got our bucket. We're almost out. A guy comes in, he gets a bucket in the middle of the light. He drinks one beer. He gets a phone call. He's like, I got to go. Give these to whoever. And we're sitting next to him, and the bartender looks at us like, you guys want that? And I was like, nah, give me another bucket of Coors Light. <laughs> and my buddy <laughs> my buddy, I'm with is, you're going to turn down free beer? And I said, yeah, I'm, I'm finally at that yeah. point where, sure, this bucket's like 10 bucks, 12 bucks. Yeah. I'll pay I'm the not, 10 bucks. I'm not, I'm not that broke. I'm okay. And like, that's like I went home that night and I thought, man, I'm, life's pretty good I'm, right now. I'm you know what? I don't have a lot to complain about. I'm doing really well. This yeah. is this is when I feel like life's good. Because there was a day <laughs> where even though I don't like Miller Light, I'd have gladly drank those free beers. Yeah. No, I I'm with you. I'm with you. Now so, I don't I don't do that anymore, the beer thirty stuff. Nope. Out on that. That was early twenties. No go nowadays. Uh, but I now, still drink cheap beer, but not like Natty Light, Keystone Light. Cheap. Well, now, like I, I enjoy just Bud Light. I mean, that's, a, we, that's call a, it, we call them cool snacks. Yeah, like Bud Light, Coors Light. I can, I can throw it, but I can like cut grass and drink Bud Light. Or yeah, Coors Light. That's like that's it. Like that's as soon as we get I, done with the show, I'm going to drink a Bud Light. That's the thing I enjoy about it is, I, I have been, I can't get into the craft beers. I have tried a bunch. Very few do I like, and I don't like the idea of spending six bucks to take a taste and think, oh, God, this is, I don't like this at all. <laughs> but now, because everybody's looking at me, I'm not going to like just give it back. So now I'm going to nurse this and whatever. And then when everybody stops looking at me, now I'll, I'm, yeah, now I'm annoyed. I'll get my Coors Light. I'll get you my know, Bud Light. So I'll get my cool snack. Yeah. I drink good bourbon. I drink cheap beer. That's, I agree with that. I agree with that. And really good tequila. You know who Yellow Wolf is, by the way? Yeah, so he's a rapper from Alabama, okay. but he's on like Eminem's label and right. whatever. Uh, he's got his own whiskey called Creek Water, and he's going to be at our buddy Ryan's liquor store at Doc's on Friday night, like signing it. It's Creek Water, like bourbon. Can I taste it before I got to buy it and get it? I have no bottle? idea. They usually do tastings up there at Doc's. If you're yeah. in the Memphis area, free plug. We don't get paid for these guys. 
Yeah. Ryan Gill at Docs is the man. Yeah. Yeah. They, I they, put they, that man on. I want this and this, and he hunts it out and he finds it. And then he texts me when he's got it in. Yeah. And this weekend he texts me because they had something on super special that I like. He knocks it out. He's the man. He's so so he got Yellow Wolf man. coming in on Friday night. It's good stuff. I, I wasn't even worried about doing pub, but hey, I'm just saying. You like Yellow Wolf? You like bourbon? Go hang out on Friday night. I like six bourbon. I'm kind of picky about my bourbon. So. I can understand that. A rapper from Alabama. I don't know that I trust him to give me bourbon. I, you might be right. I'm you a, might be right. I'm all right. Either way. All right. So that wraps up our party school segment where we discuss disgusting beer and, and good bourbon. I don't like this list. No. Who are the people at Niche to make this list? I mean, that's a great question. Who the hell they think they are? Niche is... Uh, so they, they do uh, all of the college stuff, right? They rank all the stuff. So find your niche. Discover the schools, companies, neighborhoods that are right for you. Whatever. I don't know. It became a, a big topic online. So I was like, well, we can talk about party schools. I like partying. This worked out well. So I don't know that Tulane is the number one party school in the country. I don't know, man. It's really hard to beat New Orleans. You walk outside... I mean, there. you're there. You're there. You're New Orleans party. is not a big city. Well, I can't believe UNLV is not on this thing. Yeah. New Orleans is not a – they're not a big city land-wise. I mean, it's not like, you know, all uh, the schools off in this corner. There is no corner. Like, no. New Orleans is just – is right there. You're in it. Now, you're right about you that. You know when you're in it, and you know when you're out of it. You got that right. You got that right. <laughs> all right, that wraps up the party schools. As always, shows brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. Go to tunicatravel.com to get more information on their sports books. You can party with us March 21st, March 22nd. That's a Thursday and Friday at Samstown Casino Sportsbook. We'll be there broadcasting live 10 a.m. both days. We're going to broadcast before the afternoon games as well. We're going to be there all day drinking, gambling on games, use, cussing, use causing that word, a riot. Use that word party loosely. That's it. Yeah, we'll probably just it. be sitting down watching the ball games. Hoping for a cover. Oh. We're hoping for my partying is hoping for a cover. That's about it. All right. We appreciate you guys. Thank you for the support. <laughs> we made it until it the last again. drop. But we'll see you guys the next go round. <laughs> Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.